All of these animations look like they were created by a professional motion graphic designer, but in reality they're all created with an easy to use motion graphic generator that can create animations like this with just a simple prompt. This YouTube channel called Real Life Lore has used map animations like this to grow their channel to over 7 million subscribers and almost 2 billion views. Only by entering a simple prompt into this tool I was able to create this motion graphic that could easily be featured in one of their videos. As you probably know, creating animations like this manually in After Effects can take hours of work or set you back hundreds of dollars if you outsource it to a freelancer. So if you're looking for a faster, easier and more affordable way to create motion graphics, this video is going to be for you. To do all of this, we're going to use Hera, which is one of the first AI tools that can actually replace After Effects. And I'm about to show you how you can recreate some of this channel's most popular animations with only a few minutes of work. So there are two different ways you can create motion graphics with Hera. Either you can create it from scratch only using a prompt describing what you want the animation to look like. Or you can use one of their pre-made templates you can customize however you like. Now let's start off by recreating this animation from this video that got over 1 million views. As you can see it's an animation zooming in on the Copenhagen and Malmö with a neon line connecting them. And I think we can recreate this one pretty easily with without a template and only using a prompt. Basically how it works is that any prompt you type into this box, Hera will turn into a motion graphic. And the most important thing when creating animations from scratch and not using a pre-made template is to be very specific and describe in detail what you want it to create. In the animation we wanted to zoom in on Copenhagen and Malmö, text boxes with the name of each city and a neon line drawn between them. So to create this animation I wrote a prompt saying create a map animation zooming in on Copenhagen, Denmark and Malmö, Sweden. Add a text box above both cities with their names. Add a neon highlight connecting the two countries together. And if you're not an expert at writing prompt, you can just click on the enhance prompt button, which will polish it into a designer level description. Just make sure you read it through an extra time to make sure it still describes what you want to create. Now hit generate and here I will create this animation that's very close to the result we're looking for. It zooms in on the right cities and add correct text boxes. However, there are a few things that needs to be changed. First is the map style which is super easy to edit. All you gotta do is click on the button that says map style and change it to satellite and you'll get the same style as real life lore is using in their animations. The second thing we need to change is the neon line that's currently placed out randomly in the middle and not connecting the two cities together. You can make any changes you want by entering a prompt describing what you want it to do. So let's write something like, make a neon line go from Copenhagen to Malmö. Now hit generate and as you can see it created this animation that's almost identical to the original. I zoom in on the two cities, accurate text boxes and a neon line connecting them. Creating an animation like this manually in After Effects would have taken hours of manual keyframing. And we just did it in a few minutes with a simple prompt, saving us time and hundreds of dollars if we were to outsource it to a freelancer. If you want to try out Hera and create animation like this for yourself, you can get a 10% discount on your first three months if you sign up through the link in the description. However, this is far from everything you can do with this tool, so let's try and replicate some more advanced animations. I found this really cool motion graphic used in one of this channel's most recent videos, where they're highlighting three US states with an infographic animation showing the population numbers. And believe it or not, you can actually recreate this animation pretty easily if you're just using a good product. This time, instead of creating it from scratch, I'm gonna use one of their pre-made templates. You can access this by clicking on the three lines in the top left corner and then click on templates. Here you'll find customizable templates for article animations, vox style animations, infographics and most importantly map animations. And I happen to know that they have this one template called map with statistic overlay which is a map animation template with an infographic to the side. So I'll just click on use this template and all we gotta do now is to customize it. We want to create an animation zooming in on the United States highlighting North Carolina, South Carolina and Georgia. Finally we also want an infographic animation showing the population numbers in each state. So to create this animation I'll enter a prompt saying create an animation zooming in on North Carolina, South Carolina and Georgia in the United States. Highlight the border of each of the three states with a white neon highlight. Add an infographic to the left 
left side of the screen showing the population in each of the three states. Again, click on the Enhance Prompt button and it will add some extra details that will help you get a better result. After generating the prompt, it created this animation that looks very similar to the one we are recreating, if not even better. As you can see, it starts zooming in on the United States, then highlights the three states and finally adds this really cool infographic animation with the population numbers in each state. If you've ever tried creating an animation like this manually, you know that it can be a real headache. So being able to create it this easily is a game changer if you're creating documentary style videos like real life lore, where you need multiple of these animations in every video. But what if I told you there's an even easier way to create these animations where you don't even need to use a prompt. Say you're watching a YouTube video and you see an animation you want to recreate without using a prompt or a template. In this case, I found this animation showing where conflicts took place in the Thailand-Cambodia border conflict. The first thing you want to do is to click on the share button on YouTube and copy the video link. Then go back to Hera and click on the video icon inside the prompt box. This feature is called Guide Hera and it lets you enter a link and a timestamp to a YouTube video. Hera will then automatically recreate that animation. So I'll just paste in the video link and enter the timestamps to the animation, which is 5 seconds into the video. Now before generating it, it's very important you enter a prompt saying recreate this as detailed as possible so Hera understands what to do with it. Then hit generate and in only a few seconds you'll have that exact motion graphic recreated. As you can see the details are super accurate the text boxes, the red dots, and the border highlight. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison, and we managed to create this motion graphic with just a video link and a timestamp. As you have probably noticed by now, using Hera is a very effective way to create motion graphics if you're a content creator without much designing experience. You can literally recreate animations used by some of the most successful YouTube channels in the world with only a few minutes of work. So again, if you want to be able to create motion graphics like this for yourself. Click the link in the description and get a 10% discount on your first three months using Hera.